Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Everyday Math Math in the grocery store. Math isn't just something we practice in school. It's a skill we use every day even when we don't realize it. A trip to the grocery store is the perfect place to put our math brains to work. From budgeting and weighing ingredients, to comparing prices and calculating servings, numbers help us make smart shopping choices. Today, we're on a mission to shop for a delicious family barbecue while staying on budget. So, grab your shopping list, sharpen your math skills, and let's turn grocery shopping into a real-world math adventure. And remember, always stick with an adult while shopping and double-check those price tags. Before we head to the store, let's make a quick meal plan for our barbecue to ensure we have everything we need while sticking to a $50 budget. A good meal plan helps us avoid overspending and ensures everyone has enough to eat. Step 1. Plan the menu. For a simple and delicious barbecue, let's include a main dish of hamburgers and hot dogs, sides of corn on the cob and chips, drinks of lemonade, and dessert store-bought cookies. Step 2. Estimate the cost. Let's break down the shopping list and estimate prices to see if we can stay within budget. Estimated price. Ground beef, two pounds, $10. Hot dogs, one pack, $4. Hamburger buns, one pack, $3.50. Hot dog buns, one pack, $3.50. Cheese slices, $3. Corn on the cob, six ears, $6. Potato chips, one large bag, $4. Lemonade mix, $3. Store-bought cookies, $5. That is an estimated total of $42. If we are correct, we will still have $8 left, and we can either upgrade or add more food, like an extra side for salad or snacks and fruit, or we can look for discounts, checking for sales, coupons, or store brand items to save even more. Or we can save the extra money for another meal. By planning ahead, we make sure we have everything we need while staying with our $50 budget. Ready to put your math skills to the test at the store? Let's go shopping. At the grocery store, prices can vary between brands, package sizes, and even sales. A smart shopper knows how to compare prices to get the best deal while sticking to the budget. Here's how we can use math to make the smartest choices. Step 1. Compare prices by unit cost. Sometimes a bigger package costs more overall but is cheaper per item. We use unit price, the cost per bun, per ounce, or per pound to decide which is the better deal. For example, choosing hot dog buns. Option one, a pack of eight buns is $3.50. Option two, a pack of 12 buns is $4.80. To find the cost per bun, option one would be $3.50 divided by eight, which is 44 cents per bun. Option two, $4.80 divided by 12 is 40 cents per bun. The best deal is the 12 pack because each bun costs less. Step two, look for sales and discounts. Many grocery stores offer BOGO or buy one get one free or discounted multi-buys like two for five. Always check if a sale really saves money. For example, potato chip sale. One bag costs $4. On sale, two bags are for $7. If we need two bags, we save 2 times 4 minus 7 
will be one dollar. But if we only need one bag, buying two would not save money. Step three, compare fresh versus packaged. Sometimes fresh items are cheaper than pre-packaged ones and other times convenience is worth the extra cost. For example, corn on the cob. Fresh corn is 99 cents per ear. We need six ears, so that would be $5.94. Pre-packaged corn with four ears is $5.50. The best deal would be buying six fresh ears because this gives us more for about the same price as the pre-packaged four-pack. Now that we've planned our barbecue meal, let's head to the grocery store and put our math skills to test. We'll go through each item on our list, compare prices, and make the best choices while staying within our $50 budget. Item 1. Ground beef. We need 2 pounds. Let's check the prices. Option 1. Regular ground beef is $4.99 per pound. Option 2, lean ground beef is $5.99 per pound. Option 3, store brand ground beef is $4.50 per pound. The smart choice would be to buy the store brand ground beef for $4.50 per pound. It saves us money while still making great burgers. Total so far would be $9.00. Item 2. Hot dogs. We need one pack. There are two brands of hot dogs on sale, so let's compare. Brand A is $3.99 for 10 hot dogs. Brand B is $5.49 for 12 hot dogs. Hmm, smart choice would be brand A because each hot dog costs Let's calculate 3.99 divided by 10 that would be 40 cents per hot dog while brand B costs hmm $5.49 divided by 12 that is 46 cents per hot dog the smart choice would be brand A total spent so far $12.99 item 3 hamburger and hot dog buns. Should we get an 8 pack or a 12 pack of buns? Well, the 8 pack of hamburger buns is $3.50, which equates to 44 cents per bun, and the 12 pack of hamburger buns is $4.80, which equates to 40 cents per bun. The smart choice? The 12 pack because it gives us more for less per bun. Hot dog buns, same price options as hamburger buns, choosing the 12 pack for the best deal. Since hot dog buns and hamburger buns cost the same, we will be choosing the 12 pack for the best deal. Total spent so far is $22.59. Item number four, cheese slices. Hmm, should we buy pre-sliced cheese or a block of cheese? Well, pre-sliced cheese has 16 slices for $3.99. A cheese block is equivalent to about 20 slices and that costs $4.50. The smart choice would be to buy the cheese block. It saves money per slice and can be used for other meals too. Total spent so far is $27.09. Item number 5. Corn on the cob. Should we buy fresh corn or prepackaged corn? Well, fresh corn is 99 cents per ear, and we need six ears, so that would be 99 cents times six to get $5.94. Prepackaged corn has four ears in the package for $5.50. The smart choice would be to buy the fresh corn as it gives us more at almost the same price. Total spent so far, 
$33.03. Item 6. Potato chips. Hmm. One bag costs $4, but there is a sale. Two bags for $7. Smart choice? Well, if we need two bags, we save $1 with the sale, so we buy two bags for $7 instead of one. Total spent so far, $40.03. Item 7. Lemonade Mix. I can get a bottle of lemonade for $3.50 or I can mix my own bottle of lemonade that makes 10 cups for $3. Hmm, the smart choice would be to buy the lemonade mix as it gives us more for less money. Total spent, $43.03. Item 8. Store-bought cookies. A small package of cookies costs $3.50, but a larger pack is $5. The small pack has 12 cookies in it, which means at $3.50, Dividing that by 12, we will get 29 cents per cookie. A large pack has 20 cookies and at $5 per pack, $5 divided by 20 would give us 25 cents per cookie. The smart choice would be to buy the large pack because each cookie costs less and we'll have extras for later. Total spent so far, $48.03. Well within our budget. Now that we have all our items, let's head to the checkout. The cart is filled with everything we need for our family barbecue. Juicy ground beef, fresh corn, soft buns, and all the fixins. After scanning the items, the display reads, Final Purchase Summary. Ground beef, $9. One package of hot dogs, $3.99. One package of hamburger buns, $4.80. One package of hot dog buns, $4.80. Cheese block, $4.50. Corn on the cob, six airs, $5.94. Two bags of potato chips, $7. Lemonade mix, $3. Large pack of cookies, $5. Today's total, $48.03. We then give the cashier $50. The cashier takes it and places it in the register, then starts counting out our change. $50 minus $48.03 is $1.97. The cashier places a crisp $1 bill, a quarter, seven dimes, and two pennies in our hand. Did we get the right change? Let's check. Yes, one dollar bill plus a quarter plus seven dimes and two pennies add up to one dollar and ninety-seven cents. So we got the right change. Always take a moment to check the receipt. Everything adds up just as expected. Our careful budgeting played off. With the change tucked safely in our pocket and our grocery bags in hand, we leave the store ready to fire up the grill and enjoy a delicious barbecue knowing that math helped make it all happen. This shopping trip showed how math helps us make smart choices, compare prices, and stick to a budget. Let's review. Today, we learned how math helps us with everyday tasks like shopping for groceries. From making a budget to paying at checkout, math is a key tool in making smart decisions and staying on track. Let's quickly review the key points. Number one, we started by planning a menu for a family barbecue, ensuring we had everything we needed without exceeding a $50 budget. By estimating prices and keeping track of costs as we shopped, we stayed on budget and had some extra savings for future meals. Number two, price comparisons. We used unit prices to compare different package sizes and brands, making sure we got the best deal for each item. We also took advantage of sales and made smart choices like choosing a 12-pack of buns 
instead of 8 pack to save money. 3. For items like ground beef, we calculated how much to buy based on price per pound. We also made decisions about fresh versus packaged items by comparing prices for the best value. Number 4. We practiced calculating and receiving change, ensuring we knew the correct amount of money to hand over and how to count back our change. 5. At the end of our shopping trip, we were able to stick to our budget, make smart purchasing decisions, and manage our money effectively. All thanks to math. Whether it's comparing prices or budgeting for a meal, Math helps us make informed decisions every day. By practicing these skills, we're not only becoming a better shopper, but also learning how to apply math in real life situations. The next time you head to the store, you'll be ready to put your math skills to work and save some money while making your meal plans a success. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email easy a homeschoolacademy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.